video for you today. It's HMAR Mobile Tech. And I'm working on a 2012 Nissan Versa with a 1.6 liter. And I got a fault code today that is a P0101. And the description of this code is Mass Airflow Circuit Range Performance. Now, the reason I'm making this video, it's quick. It's going to get the information out and it's going to teach somebody who's a new mechanic or maybe owns this vehicle and just wants to get their problem fixed and don't want to spend a lot. You need to start with the inspection first. Doing the inspection first is going to get you out of a lot of trouble and it's going to keep you from spending a lot of extra money on unnecessary parts. So what I want to show you here is I got my phone here. I want to show that anybody can do this. Okay. Anybody can go and they can go online and um, they can go to what I like to go to is it's called OBD it's called autocodes.com excuse me I had to get close to my phone to see what it said and so I've already got the um, certs already pulled up here so I'm gonna tap on this and so we get to this website it's a really good website this will work for anyone I I've never had an issue finding a fault code online through this autocodes so we go here and we see that it shows the vehicle information and it shows this fault code P0101 and it shows possible causes. Now, this is the reason why you need to do an inspection. Let me show you why and this video is going to make sense at the end why you need to do the inspection first and don't just start putting parts on your car that may or may not fix it and you'll just have too many question marks and everything. So start with the good thorough inspection. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at, we got a list here of couple things here dirty mass airflow sensor uh, dirty air filter and faulty mass airflow sensor and mass airflow sensor harness is open or shorted that's the wiring that goes to the sensor connector and then the uh, uh, mass airflow sensor circuit poor electrical connection or intake air leaks okay so I already changed the air filter on this. It had a pretty bad air filter and I just threw it away so I don't have it to show in this video. But basically, um, uh, you want to check the air filter and you want to check to make sure that everything here where the air comes in and gets filtered and goes into the engine is clean and put together and no, no leaks and no issues. Okay, so I've already got most of this stuff disconnected here. So you'll just pinch this connector and pull it back and get it off the mass airflow sensor. And then you'll take a flathead screwdriver, just stay right there. And so you just take a flathead screwdriver to get these clamps loose. And then um, you can also take a needle nose, pair of needle nose pliers and you pinch this little, this little connector here, right there, because it goes, it goes right in here. And so there's like a hole right there that it goes in the air cleaner top box and you just pinch this and pull that backwards. Okay. Then you'll you'll use these two tools and if you don't have them don't worry you could just use a regular pair of needle nose pliers but you'll pinch this clamp here that goes down here into the valve cover. So pinch that clamp up and pull it up and then you'll use this hose removal tool here and then you'll just kind of gently wiggle it until it comes off. And then you just pop these clamps up like that and you get these loose, these two clamps, if you can. If you can't, just get this one outer boot here loose, this outer clamp here that goes to the throttle body. And then look, look at what I find, and, and I've already, I found this problem so it was quick and easy, but if you just look at things and inspect things before you just start throwing parts on a car, you'll notice, look at this huge hole here, I can get my finger through it. So, and there's also another big crack here, but it, this is the worst one here. So, the purpose of the mass airflow sensor is to measure air as it comes into the engine. If there's extra air that's intruding and getting in the engine that, that the mass airflow sensor doesn't know about, then you've got an issue. Then you've got lean. You've got too much air, not enough fuel. The computer freaks out, the PCM, and then the mass airflow sensor is trying to do its job but it can't do its job because it's got more air than what is being calculated and what's being measured by the sensor. So here's the fix. Nissan sells a boot. You won't get this from anywhere else. So this is the new boot that you'll need to be, you'll need to replace. 
and this is the part number from Nissan. It's a rubber hose assembly 16576-1HK0A. I just wanted to make this video to show people how easy it is to work on your own car and just to let people know that do the inspection first. Don't just put parts on first. Do the inspection first. That's the first step once you know what your fault code is. Do a quick little search online and go to this Auto Codes website. Really easy. If you follow these steps and do what I tell you to do, like I always say, do the basics brilliantly. Do the simple things first and you will have a lot of success with auto repair and doing DIY or if you're a shop mechanic or whatever the case is, these things help and this is how you do it first. Do the inspection first. You'll be thankful you did. Subscribe, like, and share. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next video.